Hey guys, salut, welcome back to this chocolate arc in which I am making my own chocolate bars uh, chocolatier style. In the previous episode, I learned how to temper chocolate using both the super uber uh, traditional tabling technique, you know, a bit tricky, and the more forgiving seeding one, which is just messy. Pain in the... Well, I see two problems here. The first one is that I used a baking chocolate, which uh, at the end of the melting process ended uh, tasting exactly like it did initially, so quite bad. And second, those methods are not that reliable. Luckily for us, we've got French words to the rescue. French words? French words. Sous vide cooking and couverture chocolate. Sous vide is a cooking method in which food is first placed in a plastic bag which is then cooked in a water bath at a super accurate and regulated temperature. Uh, since chocolate tempering is all about temperature, uh, I'm a bit ashamed to not have thought about In the past, cooking sous vide was only kept for like, you know, super skillful nerds because it was all DIY or wealthy geeks because it was super expensive. Now, uh, sous vide machines are way more accessible. Uh, now about the container I use, it's not like commercial stuff, it's just an IKEA box. But I've slightly modified it in order to fit my needs. Ah, DIY forever. The water bath is now at uh, 50 degrees Celsius or uh, 122 degrees Fahrenheit, which means it's time to introduce it to chocolate. Chocolate, chocolat. These are called couverture chocolate, which roughly translates to coating chocolate. In fact, they are high quality premium chocolate, so they are tastier than the basic baking chocolate. And also they contain a higher percentage of cocoa butter. In fact, more than 31% uh, of the way they couldn't be called a couverture chocolate. Melted chocolate will be more fluid and so easier to work with. It's the good There are two types of bag you could be using. The first one is a double zipper bag. Don't use the one with the slider because it's not waterproof enough. The second one being a sous vide bag, but then you, you, you need a vacuum machine to do that. The, the only thing you, you need to keep in mind is that water is like kryptonite when it comes to melted chocolate. Like a few drops of water could basically ruin the whole batch of chocolate right there. So beware. So uh, because water is so efficient at transferring heat, the chocolate inside is gonna melt within a minute. And also since we're working at a safe 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit, there is no overcooking whatsoever. <sighs> sous vide. Mm, okay, we don't have much time for this, but still it's the holiday season. So there are two things you need to keep in mind. First, you wanna look good. For this, I suggest one of my sweatshirts. And second, you want to be nice to people, uh, which often includes, let's face it, uh, bribing them with gifts. <laughs> All the information you need are down below. Back to it. First temperature needs to go down to 28 degrees Celsius or 82 degrees Fahrenheit and then back up to 32 degrees Celsius or 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Chocolate is at perfect working temperature at the moment. All I need to do right now is to get it out, cut a slit and pour that in those molds. <laughs> this is frightening but this is exciting. Time to cool down those beautiful chocolate bars to be 
The only problem is that the properly cooled them the temperature must be between 8 and 12 degrees Celsius, which is neither the outside temperature at the moment, super cold, nor is it the inside temperature since it's super warm. Real life solution, theoretical problem. Of course I'm excited, but, but, but I'm also a bit worried that something might have gone wrong with the sous vide machine. You, you, you never... Très, 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 très bon. Not grainy at all. Melts in the mouth. But not so much on my fingers, by the way. It's not too sweet, I would say. This is dark chocolate, so... It probably explains why. Extremely smooth. It feels like a dessert. I know it's just a chocolate candy bar. There is finesse in this chocolate. There is elegance in this chocolate. Oh la la, mais la beauté, la beauté! <laughs> I feel like I'm at the terrace of a cafe in Paris. Yeah, that's what I said. <coughs> of course, I have a problem. <laughs> What's wrong with me? These are supposed to be gift at the end of the day. Personal gift. Is this design any personal? Like bricks? Come on, you must be joking. This is not something we do on this channel. Hmm. Well, I'm not super satisfied with this, especially since I know that there is actually an alternative. A quite distant alternative, but still, I should be carving out of a positive shape the, 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 the form that I want and then creating a hollow or like a, a negative form, if you want, uh, using a thermoforming machine, which then would be the mold. We, we're definitely talking about loads of efforts and, and also professional tools which I'm not sure I would have access to, like this uh, thermoforming machine, for example. Where do you want me to find a thermoforming machine? Huh? See us in the next one. Salut.